I am here on behalf of the uh, CEO who asked me to hand deliver a letter to your office, sir. At 10 a.m., the Parliamentary Committee on Commission, Statutory Authority and State Enterprises had convened to meet officials from Uganda Airlines. The meeting was supposed to cross-examine officials from Uganda Airlines over audit queries raised in the Auditor General's report, over mismanagement of the airline, causing losses accounting to over 500 billion shillings in a spate of two years. One, you have brought that letter at 10.25. Our meeting starts at 10. And if you have always come before 10, you bring the letter at 10.25. This notwithstanding the recruitment and appointment of the airline CEO, Jennifer Bamturachi. The most wanted by the committee in the audit spotlight is the chief executive officer, Uganda Airlines, Jennifer Bamturachi, and other top officials. In the letter sent to the committee, Bamturachi told the committee that she's unable to attend the meeting due to an emergency and requested to be given three weeks to continue with the inquiries. Essentially request that we reschedule this session to the second week of September, sir. The last time the team was here was Thursday. The letter is talking about pre-planned engagement. The first question is why this was not communicated last week. The letter was delivered by the quality assurance manager at Uganda Airlines, Michael Kalisa. However, the committee resummoned Bam Turachi and asked her to respect the summon and appear without fail. These people made their mind on Friday or maybe even Thursday after the meeting here not to come to the Kosase meeting. We are going to issue summons today for the CEO of Uganda Airlines to appear here tomorrow without fail. Kosase chairperson Joel Senyonyi says all deliberate moves meant to frustrate the committee accountability roles will not yield results as long as the committee is still in line with its mandate. All these are games you people are playing to run away from public scrutiny. That's the feeling that I get, you know, and that's why uh, you choose to inform us right now when we are ready on going. I now see a letter by your board chairperson uh, saying, look, you know, we, we want to come, but please let the media not come. The Auditor General's report not only pins Uganda Airlines for causing numerous losses to the taxpayer, but also for indulging in irregular procurement deals. The committee will also meet the Minister of Transport, General Katumba Wamala, this Thursday, and other officials for Minister of Finance. It is in that capacity that we are going to have Mr. Conwell Muleya tomorrow, and the CEO of Uganda Airlines had better show up tomorrow. And then on Thursday, we will have the ministers of works and transport and the minister of finance the inquiries into the mismanagement of uganda airlines according to the auditor general's report 2020 2021 will continue tomorrow wednesday with the former ceo of the uganda airlines conwell muleya expected to appear susan naung and gloria guitabinji reporting for ebc tv